made an announced visit to Afghanistan Monday. His top comes as Afghanistan's defense team underwent a major shakeup in the wake of Friday's deadliest ever attack on a major Afghan army base that killed at least 140 soldiers and wounded many more. VOA's Kalabab is traveling with the secretary in Kabul and filed this report. It was a big shakeup just hours before Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis arrived here in Kabul. The Minister of Defense and the Army Chief resigned. That is due to an attack a few days ago where 140 people were killed at a regional headquarters for the Army in Mazar al Sharif. About 10 Taliban militants entered. They were disguised as Afghan Army members and they got in because they were saying that they had a wounded soldier that needed immediate attention. They made it through two checkpoints before they were stopped but then they went on a rampage and several people were killed. This was, in fact, the deadliest attack on a base here in Afghanistan in 16 years. Sources are telling me here that President Ghani has appointed an interim minister of defense. His name is General Tariq Shah Bahrami. It is not clear at this time if he met with Mattis today, but Mattis did meet with President Ashraf Ghani, and he also met with his commander on the ground, General John Nicholson, to talk about the ways forward for security in Afghanistan. One important thing to note, officials tell me that nothing big is going to be announced out of this trip today because the Pentagon is still working with the White House and Congress to finalize Afghanistan policy and the financial commitments before moving forward on any final plans. Reporting here in Kabul at Resolute Support Headquarters, I'm Carla Babb, VOA News.